Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, April 27th, 2020. It is day 26 of remote learning. Happy Monday. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. It was pretty rainy this weekend, so many of you, like me, probably stayed indoors watching TV or a movie. So today is Monday, and it took me a lot of motivation to wake up today, so let's call today Motivation Monday. What keeps you motivated during remote learning? What is your drive to always try your best? So today for writing, you're going to write a poem or story about spring, um, because spring is here, there are flowers blooming, I have some spring allergies, so write a poem about what you love about spring, find and highlight your verbs. Today in reading, you're going to watch a video about fact and opinion on Brain Pop, take the quizzes, and then spend some time just free reading on Raz Kids or Epic. Foundations practice your letters and sounds, review the double vowel team, suffixes are what we're going to focus on this week. This is a review because we did it earlier in the year, so you're going to do the S which makes it plural or more than one, the ER, which compares two things, so you would have small and smaller, or if you compare three things, it'd be small, smaller, smallest. And then discuss or write two words with those suffixes, practice your new trick words, lose beautiful tomorrow. Social studies, this activity is kind of just for fun. Create a pretend budget for a pretend party and plan it. You can pick the things to buy and then decide if you went over your budget and why it is important to have a budget. In math, you're going to watch time to the hour video, take the easy and hard quizzes, and then practice your math facts on extra math. Friday's riddle was what becomes wetter the more it dries and the answer is a towel. Today's joke of the day is how do you talk to a giant? Our activity today is use newspaper to create a zoo animal. I put a link below as a bunch of zoo animals you can make at home for fun because today's going to be another rainy day. Always remember to thank the people helping with you and helping you at home. Be respectful and good listeners. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. And please reach out if you need any help. I'll see you guys tomorrow.